Let's take a look at the experience that your nominations will go through in providing feedback for your 360 assessment. They'll receive an email like this, uh, which will name the subject. In this case, it's Hannah Hoskins. Uh, you've been invited to complete this survey to assess Hannah Hoskins. And they'll click on that, and that will take them through to this personalized experience, which references uh, Hannah, so it's uh, quite personalized. Um, they're going to click through, and they're going to answer uh, exactly the same questions, but phrased in a different way about the subject of the 360. So in this example, uh, we've got some questions about leadership all on one page here. So Hannah ex exhibits strong leadership skills. Uh, mm, I don't really agree with that. Hannah checks in with and shows genuine interest in team members to understand their needs, motivations, and progress. Yep, she's pretty good at that. Hannah builds alignment between marketing, sales, and customer success. No, uh, she reacts with constructive advice when times are tough. Definitely not. Um, she does recognize and reward uh, top performers when the team. I'm pleased with that. <clears throat> uh, Hannah identifies and deals with poor performers and culture destroyers. Uh, she is not good at grabbing uh, that issue. So uh, I'll just click through these, um, but we've got some questions on her ability to do team building, to recruit the right talent and make sure that they're focused on what matters the most. A few more there. I'll just click through in the interest of time. Then we've got a few questions on sales strategy. Um, all about Hannah's ability to uh, create and evolve uh, her strategy within the team, setting objectives and targets for her team members. Then we look at customer focus, her ability to get in front of customers and learn from them and use that to inform uh, her strategy. And then finally, a few questions around transparency. So Hannah's ability to communicate both within the team and beyond the team with other peers and other leaders. So that completes the main questions. Um, and that should take about 15 minutes for the uh, recipient to go through. Then we get into uh, open questions, which are really where you get fantastic specific feedback that can really guide uh, the, the subject of the 360. So the questions, they're all on one page here. What are Hannah's strengths in leading the sales team? So here we might say, uh, Hannah is very good at delegating. Of course, I'm making this up. What is really helpful is if you can provide some specific uh, examples or stories or context that will really help uh, Hannah uh, to understand how to how to improve. Uh, which areas of leading the sales team is Hannah weakest at? Uh, Hannah is not great at spending time with customers, for example. Uh, then we get into what should Hannah start, continue, and stop doing. So Hannah should start um, uh, joining more customer meetings. Uh, Hannah should continue with her Monday morning kick off meeting, for example. And uh, what should Hannah stop doing? Hannah should stop taking over customer meetings. Maybe she is not very good at letting her reps do the work. And then finally, if you were Hannah, what is the first action that you would take? Uh, I would organize a customer dinner, for example. And then click complete. And that is the end of uh, your process. Uh, the, in the background, we'll consolidate all of the feedback from the different uh, nominations and the subject themselves into a consolidated 360 report. And uh, the input that you provided here, both on the uh, sort of sliders, but also this actual uh, text is really helpful to that individual.